I just got to Lowe's. I'm going to buy a damn saw, a miter saw. I don't know how to work one, but I'm going to buy one. Because anytime something. Anytime we've ever needed to cut wood, we've borrowed Luke's parents' saw. And I think we just need to have one on deck. What? Do something fishy was happening over there. It was nothing fishy. It was an el elderly woman who couldn't find her car. But like, I was watching her and she looked like very, what's the word? Perplexed. I thought I was going to have to jump out of this car and be a hero today. I cannot imagine how stupid I look to other people when I'm just sitting in here talking to my phone. I do it all the time in parking lots. In parking lots, excuse me. But, alright, I guess I'm going to go in. But, why are there birds? There are birds flying all over, everywhere. See, this is the shit. I ended up buying a Craftsman miter saw. And the reason I bought Craftsman, it's like the cheapest brand in there. I don't have a problem with Craftsman, but I remember like... I don't know how many years ago I was using a craftsman tool on my stories. I had so many people message me. They're like, craftsman is crap. I don't see anything wrong with craftsman. It works for me. I'm not, what do I look like? Bob Vila to Natalia and Taylor. Like I just need something that's going to get the job done. And it does. So I'm now at Home Depot because I need to get paint swatches. Y'all know I was dead set on using the vintage, vintage T-Rose. Um, I just got a little bit lightheaded because I'm not breathing. I was dead set on using t Rose. Excuse me. I hate when people drink and eat on film, and I just did. I do it sometimes, and I apologize. I don't know that t Rose is going to match the wallpaper from Copper Corners. Mary Catherine's going to send me some samples. I have it in my head that it's going to match, but I don't know for sure. So I just want to have some swatches that I can, hold, you know, compare. I just love t Rose so much, but Home Depot carries Bear, which makes t Rose, and, you know, Valspar, and Sherwin Williams is it. Low. so I got a few samples um, but I hate coming into to these I hate coming into home improvement stores because and it might all be in my head but I feel like I'm being judged in there like there's construction workers that number one are just like staring probably because I look like a dumbass don't know what I'm doing in there like going down the freaking aisles that have like wood planks and they're like what <laughs> Run. Check out my lunch today. These are carnitas street tacos from Cook Unity. So I'm so excited. I just tried this out, but Cook Unity is the first ever chef to at home delivery, chef to consumer platform ever. I'm not even kidding. I forgot that I was filming. That's how good. I'm, I, I'm on my, almost off my second one. They taste so fresh and it blows my mind because everything is pre-packaged. Everything is also pre-cooked. So all you have to do is heat it in the microwave, but they get all their meals. They work with culinary chefs across the country and everything is fresh. There's no artificial anything. Street tacos were created, crafted by chef Jose Garces. And then it gives you all the information on the packet. Oh, you can also put it in the oven. But I don't got time for that. I put it right in the microwave and it's just as good. I promise you. But it's really cool because you can also filter by your, like, diet, however it is you eat. Use all of your preferences via the website. But there's no GMOs, nothing artificial, humanely raised, organic when possible, and cooked from starch. I am so excited about this because we really struggle with lunch options. Dinner, not so much, but... I'm pumped about these. If you guys want to try out Cook Unity, you can use my code and you will get 50% off of your first order. Yes, yeah, so I started watching this Euphoria show. Okay, it's on HBO. And 
I actually started watching it like last month or something and I had quit. There's a lot of fornicating, high school kids fornicating. And it made me extremely uncomfortable, okay? Some people think that's normal, some people don't, some people are cool with it, some people aren't. Everybody's different to each their own. It made me a little bit squirmy. Um, and it also started off kind of slow. Like for my brain, I need like constant stimulation and it wasn't like hook, line, sinker for me. It was just a lot of... No, I'm sorry. I know what I'm saying. Uh, but then, so Tiff and I start. We're talking the other day, and she's like, "Are you watching Euphoria?" And I was like, "I tried. I can't do it." I said, it "Made me uncomfortable." She said, "Oh my God, same." But I continued to watch it, and I love it. And so now I'm. I continued, and here we are, season two, and I am absolutely hooked. It is such. It is such a good plot. It has such a good plot line. The characters are phenomenal. And I love that for him. Airbnbs while they were filming, like moving from Airbnb to in. And now look at him. That makes me love him even more. And this whole time he was, he's just been himself and he, that's, he is who he is. That he realized that everything was legit. He moved out to Los Angeles to film, uh, but nobody would rent to him. He had zero credit. People didn't believe that he was a real actor because he didn't look like one. He didn't carry himself like one. So he was staying in, he was working in a freaking chicken and waffle joint in New York. And somebody approached him on the street, asked him to be in the show. He didn't even believe it was real. I love it. He's just like the same person. <laughs> Maybe not a drug dealer, but he's like the same person. And one of my followers, Rachel, just sent me a, an article of how he was cast for the series. Okay, I just gotta say one thing. So Fez, my favorite character on there, I just watched a, like, E shared this video, it's a reel of him talking, and he's literally the same, he speaks the same as he does on the show. Mm -hmm.